Hi, and welcome back to The Digital Guitarist. And we are going to finish our deep dive into the replay song from their upcoming fourth album, uh, due out March 31st, 2021. If you're watching this in a couple of years, it won't be forthcoming anymore. So that's the release date. Uh, what I want to do today is first talk about uh, collaboration, um, because that actually turns out to be one of the key things uh, that brings me back to this second video. So uh, Eric and I uh, work together, but uh, he's in Boston and I'm in Honolulu. And uh, last time at the end of the deep dive, I thought I had it. Uh, but when I ran it by Eric, he was like, well, you know, it sounds like synth drums. And I played synth drums all during the 80s and I really want a little bit of woody sound in there. Um, so we worked on that. We came up, he came up with a drum to put in for the bass drum. Then I worked on it a little bit more and mixed it and I'll show you how I did that. And it ended up sounding way, way better. So let me actually give you a bass line so you know what we're doing here. Listen for the drums in this. Uh, what we were listening for specifically is the bass drum and the snare. This is the original, and here, basically, all we get is the hi-hat, and that's pretty much it. So, and then this is the finished one. And you can hear uh, the sort of woody sound of the bass drum there. So, uh, we'll walk through how we got that. First, with the drums, remember we had the 606, which was a pure sine wave. So uh, what happens is we did a pure sine wave and did some uh, harmonics to it. So let's actually solo that. All right, and then let's solo the kick Eric put in. So you can hear that has a lot more thud to it. And then let's hear what they sound like together. So uh, when when I listened with just Eric's drum, I was missing the the sub of the that 43 hertz uh, sub, uh, which I really quite liked. So putting them both together was the answer, and here's what we got with them together. So you can hear the, the drums are a big improvement. And then uh, another thing that didn't work, I thought it would, but then when I mastered it, it didn't, was I uh, chopped out one section of the guitar uh, using a very steep filter cut to try and catch a single note. But then when I mastered it, it made that cut really, really, really obvious. So I'll show you how I dealt with that. Our original problem was this. Uh, right here, there was a stray note uh, that was not in the key. So I wanted to see if I could diminish that. And originally what I did was found the frequency of the note and just made a very steep engineering filter cut. Uh, but that left a hole in the overall uh, timbre of the song. What I tried instead was sound hacks Spectral Compand 2, a combination compressor and expander that has 2048 bands instead of just one or a few. I tuned the expander until I only heard the note I wanted to get rid of and then I inverted it. Let's first play it back without the effect. So you can see the automation is turned off here. So I wanted to get rid of that honking note there. So now we'll turn the automation back on and watch what goes on here. The threshold is going to go up. And it 
takes out just that note without affecting the rest of the tone. So let's watch that again. Watch the threshold here. You can see what it does is it just pops out just for a moment on the threshold. And instead of taking out the whole signal, it just takes out that tiny portion of it uh, and leaves the rest of the signal going. And it worked a lot better uh, than uh, using the, the filter cut. So that's what we did. Those were the last two fixes. Uh, and then we mastered it in Ozone, uh, which was pretty straightforward. And the result is Disc Drones. My name is Rich Rath, and this is the Digital Guitarist Station. Thanks for tuning in, and see you again real soon. Bye.